Example number 2, 14 volt pressure vessels. A cylindrical steel pressure vessel has hemispherical and cups. The inner radius of the vessel is 24 inches and the wall thickness is constant at 0.25 inch. When the vessel is pressurized to 125 psi, determine the stresses and the change in radius of number 1, the cylinder, number 2, the end cups. Use E is equal to 29 times 10 raised to 6 psi and okay, uh, nu is equal to 0.28 for steel. Okay, or the ano, um, or the Poisson ratio. Okay, so game. So number one, the motor is a cylinder. Okay. So number one, cylinder. Ano ba pinapahanap? Okay, stresses and change in radius. Okay? Okay, so doon tayo sa circumferential stress natin. So, ang given natin dito is inner radius. Therefore, ang ating uh, circumferential stress is equals to PR over T. Okay? So, P natin is Okay, ang P natin is 125 PSI. So, hindi ko na ilalagay yung unit. Kasi magka-cancel lang dito na unit is yung RNT. And same naman ang unit ng RNT natin. So, wala tayong problema. So, ang R natin is 24. And ang thickness natin is 0. 0.25. Okay? So, 125 multiplied by 24 over 0. 0.25. So, 12,000. So, ang ating ano, uh, circumferential stress is 12,000 PSI. Yan. So next, yung ating longitudinal stress. Ang longitudinal stress natin is okay, R ang ano given. So PR over 2T. So this is 125 multiplied by 24 over 2 multiplied by 0.25. So longitudinal stress is okay, meron lang to sa baba. So multiply natin to ng 2. Okay, so 6,000. So 6,000 PSI. Next. Okay, ang pinapahanap ngayon dito is yung change in the radius. So kapag sinabi natin change in radius, ano yun? Deformation. Okay? So ano bang equation natin deformation? Balik muna tayo ng strain. Okay? So strain is equals to deformation over L. Therefore, deformation is equals to strain multiplied by L. So, kung ang kinukuha natin is change in radius, therefore, change in radius is equals to strain in radius. Then, multiplied by radius. Okay? So, kung natin yung ating ano, strain in radius. And, alam naman natin, ang strain in radius natin is yung tinatawag natin as circumferential stress. So, ano ba yung equation natin sa circumferential stress? Circumferential stress is equals to 1 over E multiplied by Okay, um, circumferential, sorry, circumferential strain is equals to 1 over E multiplied by circumferential stress minus, okay, uh, Poisson's ratio or nu multiplied by longitudinal stress. So, strain at R is equals to 1 over E na 29 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by, okay, circumferential stress na 12,000 minus nu na 0.28. Multiplied by longitudinal stress na 6,000. Yan. So, makukuha natin yung strain natin. So, 1 over 29,000. Sorry, 29 times 10 raised to 6. Multiplied by 12,000. Minus 0. 0.28. Multiplied by 6,000. Okay. So, ilan to? Tatlong zero. Oh, okay, tatlong zero, three, five, six. So, zero point, zero, 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 three, five, six. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating strain. Okay, so makukuha na natin yung ano natin, change in radius. So, um, delta R is equals to strain at R na zero point, zero, 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 
3.56 multiplied by R. Ang R natin is 24 inches. Ito na ating ano na. Ito na ngayon yung ating um, change in R. 0.000356 multiplied by 24. Yan. So, yan siya. So, 0.0 0854. So, 0.00854 inch. So, ito yung change in R natin. Okay? So, number 2. So, number 2 naman sa okay, sa hemisphere natin. Okay? And ang hemisphere natin is palahati lang ng spherical vessel natin. So, same pa rin yung equation natin dito. Okay? So, yung stress natin dito is equivalent to R ang given. Ibig sabihin, PR over 2T. So, P is 125 multiplied by R na 24 over 2 multiplied by thickness na 0.25. So, ito ngayon yung ating stress. Kaparehas lang dito actually ng ating longitudinal stress. So, this is 6,000 PSI. Ayan. Okay. Next naman ang pinapahanap is yung change in radius. So, wala naman tayong andito eh. Uh, change in radius and change in length. Okay, sa hemisphere. Kasi, di ba, napag-usapan natin sa ano, spherical vessel. Same lang din yung strain sa buong circumference. And, paras lang. Tama ba? Para sa circumference lang kasi iikot sa y, z, and x axis natin. Okay? So, strain lang to. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang delta R natin is equals to strain multiplied by R. Ayan. So, kunin natin yung strain natin. So, strain natin is 1 over E multiplied by stress minus nu multiplied by stress. Or simply, 1 over E okay, multiplied by stress multiplied by 1 minus nu. So, strain is equivalent to 1 over E na 29, time, 29 times 10 raised to 6. Multiplied by stress. Ang stress natin is 6,000. Multiplied by 1 minus nu na 0.28. Ang stress natin dito is, di ba meron tayong equation kanina sa ano? Ayan. So, papatan lang natin to ng 6,000. Then, yung nasa kabila rin naman is 6,000. Okay? So, ito ngayon is 0.00149. Tatlong zero. One, four, nine. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, yung ating change in R is 0 0.000149 multiplied by R na 24 inches. Okay? So, 0 0.000149 multiplied by 24. Okay? 0 0.00358 0 0.00358 inch. So, ito na ngayon yung change in R natin sa hemisphere. Okay, so question dito. Bakit magkaiba? Okay? Kasi para sa naman sila ng radius and magka-connect yung ating ano, um cylindrical steel pressure vessel and yung ating hemispherical end cup. So magka-connect yan ito. Ito yung connection nila. Okay, so yung sabihin, dapat, ano, um, parehas lang. Tama ba? Mula rito, dapat parehas lang yung change in R nila. Kung anong change in R dito sa cylinder, same lang din yung change in R dito sa hemisphere. Kasi kung hindi sila change, ibig sabihin, uusli yan. Tama ba? Sabihin, mayroong ano, may ano, um, possible na magkaroon siya ng butas. Tama ba? So, bakit ganun, sir? So, dito, Ibang ano na yun, iba pang usapan yun. Another topic pa yun. So, magkakaroon pa tayo ng ano, compatibility equations para mag-equal yung ano, change in R natin sa uh, cylinder and hemisphere. So, if, hindi na sakop ng topic natin dito sa ano, sa thin world pressure vessel. So, ano na yata yun eh. Um, kasama na yung mga ano, bending stresses. Okay, so doon tayo magkakaroon another ano pa, um, another equation para masold natin yung ano natin, yung change in R natin. And dapat magkaparehas sila para hindi magkaroon ng usli yung joint or connection ng ating cylinder and hemispherical and cups. Pero sa ngayon, ito muna yung 
ano, ituturo ko sa inyo yung concept natin about the circumferential stress, longitudinal stress, and the stress at spherical vessel, and the strain. Okay? Strain for, uh, okay, so the circumferential strain and the longitudinal strain. Okay? So, labas muna yun sa topic natin. Okay? So, this is our example number two for thin-walled pressure.